Before I headed off to work today, I wanted to talk about one thing real quick, and that is the concept of finding your passion. Uh, I know a lot of people talk about how you should find your passion in life, and I even talk about, you know, you should be passionate about things. But the fact is, I don't think you should strictly run your life off of passion. Uh, you know, the fact is, like, <laughs> the fact is things you really care about. <laughs> you're not necessarily thinking clearly with, when you're thinking from an emotional state, which I do all the time. We all do. It's, it's kind of just a natural, natural instinct for people to, to think and act out of emotion. Now, I think you should enjoy the things you do. And I think you should seek to do things that you enjoy. So I think like, you know, when you're, you're working on your career and, uh, you know, relationships, things like that, like they should be enjoyable things. Um, and the, the idea of helping people to find their passion uh, you know, you hear a lot of, you know, motivational speakers and, and coaches and stuff talk about finding your passion and, and helping you find your passion. And, and the fact is, like, I like to help people and I want to help people. And, like, I think it'd be super fucking cool to be a life coach. And, and you know, I would love to do speaking, but I'm not going to tell anybody how they should go find their passion. I'm not going to try to help people find their passion. Because the fact is, like, finding your passion ends up being ultimately is a luxury. Uh, the first thing people have to do is they have to just manage their fucking existence. You got to manage your own brain. You know, you got to get into a, a space where you're mentally functioning properly. Like the fact is most of us, most of us kind of stagger through life and stagger through our situations. And it's just, that's just how it is. And that's okay. That's fine. Like we're not built, like we're not equipped for, for all of this off the bat. Like it's just not. You know, we don't come, there's no instruction manual. Everybody knows that. You have to figure things out as you go. And the fact is, most of us don't find truth about ourselves, you know, until we're a lot older. Or a lot of people never find it at all and live some form of a lie for their entire life. Now, what's the point in telling somebody to find their passion and trying to help them do that if they haven't even found themselves yet? You understand what I'm saying? Like, why are you going to say, hey, find your passion? You know, I'm going to help you find your passion. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to help anybody find their passion if they don't know who they are. And, and that's the thing, because the level of, of honesty with yourself and the level of self-awareness and humility involved with the process of finding who you are is a lot more difficult and a lot more, it's fucking hard. Okay, it's fucking hard. It's it's difficult on you emotionally. It's sometimes it can be difficult on you physically. Like you know, things that are mentally exhausting end up being physically exhausting just because. So you know the 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 process, that process of gaining that awareness, really fucking owning that honesty. Like I, you don't want you, whoever's watching this far so far, you do not want to admit your faults. You don't want to put your faults out there. Maybe you put some out there. I mean, I put a lot of them out there, but I have faults. I don't want to fucking, fucking admit. We all do. And that's the thing. Like, you know, even, even coming to admit faults to myself can be difficult. So admitting them to yourself can be difficult too. And the thing is like, you have to admit shortcomings. You have to admit faults. You have to be able to do that to get past that and reconcile, you know, those issues. And, and, and what I've found is a lot of times, if you haven't done that yet, then the things you believe are, pa are your passion in life, the passion, the things you believe are your passion, aren't really a hundred percent there. You might really enjoy them and you might be willing to do it forever, but it's not a passion because what's going on is you're making these decisions while you're holding on to like a false a false pretense about yourself, you know? So it's like, if you don't strip down those levels and get down to the core of that and get to the honesty with yourself, then you're going to be acting, even though the things you're passionate about and you're pursuing for you, you're not necessarily going to be pursuing for you. You might be pursuing to cover up your own faults, your own weaknesses. Now I will use tattooing as a great example of this for myself because I've been tattooing for, this is 22 years this year, a few more months. It's 22 years of tattooing. You would think like, oh, that's my passion. Well, I love tattooing and I I, will, I don't want to give it up. I enjoy it. I'm successful at it. I'm, I'm good at it. I've built a great career. 
But the fact is that I don't know if that's my passion. I don't know what my passion is. I'll be honest right there. But what I do know is I used to think it was my passion. Like, that's my passion. But it's not. What it is is I got involved with it because I thought it would be cool. And I thought I would be cool. And I thought people would like me. And I thought I'd be able to get chicks. I wanted to be liked. I wanted to be loved. And that's why I got into it. That's why I got into tattooing. So I could try to fit in with somebody somewhere. Because I didn't quite fit in with anybody. So what I thought and what would seem like would be my passion and my life's work. False pretenses. Got into it for a reason other than what I believed. Because deep down I hadn't reconciled that shit with myself. Now that I can admit those things, I can look at my career and be like, huh. Okay, well, that wasn't quite where I thought I was going with this. Like I said, I love tattooing. I'm not going to give it up or anything. Uh, been through that a couple videos ago. But do you see what I'm saying? This is, it wasn't, I didn't get into this because, like, I lied to myself. I was lying to myself about what my passion was, about what I was meant to do with my life. Because I was covering up an insecurity about feeling like I wasn't good enough feeling like I'm not accepted and feeling like I wasn't loved. So that's it. Yeah, passion's good. You know, finding your passion in life is good. But you gotta find yourself before you do that. If you can't find yourself, then what the fuck's the point in doing anything else? Get honest with yourself. Get deep. Really dig down. And forgive yourself for your faults. Okay, you got shortcomings. You got shit you've done in your life. Forgive yourself for that. All right? I do it. You need to do it. I love you guys.